What's up, everybody? Welcome to Shark Jets. I'm Skid Viss. In this episode, I'm doing something I like to call a quick tip. Not very original, I know, but it's just a small little video clip that tells you how to do one specific thing. Maybe two. Anyways, um, in this episode, we're going to talk about how to put some text in front of the VR interface um, to have, you know, text, a, a canvas floating around your face, which is frowned upon when you're actually making a game because apparently it makes people feel sick. Uh, but you might need it when you're doing some debugging and developing, and let's get into how to do that really quick. In order to get this started right, we're going to have to have the Oculus integration uh, asset added to the project, which I covered in this other video, link in the descriptions. And um, so that's going to give us something to work with. So we'll go ahead and add a plane for the camera. To stand on or for the player to stand on I guess here we go yeah just like that and then we will get rid of the existing camera for now and add the OVR player controller prefab right there now it has its own camera built into it so we will need to go and drill into the OVR camera the tracking space and we're looking for the center eye anchor that's where the camera is actually attached. So we will create a child to that. That is a different camera. We will call that UI camera. And we're gonna change some settings for that particular camera. The clear flags need to be set to depth only. The calling mask needs to be set to nothing and then switched over to UI. And then very important is depth right here, down here. Um, the center eye anchor has a camera, like we said, and it has a depth of zero in this example. So this camera needs to be one higher than that one. So we'll set that to one. And now we can go ahead and add a canvas to our scene. And then we will change some settings here on the canvas. You have the render mode, and we need to set that to screen space camera. And then for the render camera, we'll just drag our new camera into it. Bada bing, bada boom. And now we can go ahead and create a text element here and change the text to maybe debug info. Hope this works. And now when we fire it up, we should see debug info. Hope this works right there, right in our face. So, uh, it's not perfect. It's not something you want to use in production, like I said, but it's very helpful when you're just starting out. And I will show you how I use that when I'm doing some raycasting in a future episode. All right. As always, if you have found this helpful, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.